can. Where is it? It's gone! And don't insult my intelligence by saying you threw a million dollars worth of cocaine into the sea. What do you want me to say? It's the truth! great deal of aggravation to keep my employees' property back, and I will get it. If I have to kill everyone in this house, do you understand me? Yes. Now, for the very last time... No! 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 Shot. She was supposed to be the Florida end. And Kath used the drugs that she got from you. She used the money to break me out of prison. Finally, somebody is making sense. It happened until Friday. And I was supposed to find a million dollars by then. I rather thought that was your area of expertise. Oh, and uh, don't even think about running away or hiding or going to the police. Because I will know and I will kill everyone either of you cares about starting. Your husband. You're not well enough. Give me the car keys and I'll go. No, you don't know the area. She's lying down. Where the hell do you think you're going? I am going to the police. Are you out of your mind? Kathy, I know this isn't any of my business, but Harriet's right. We're out of our depth here. We need help. Yes, you're right. It's none of your business. Are you so selfish that you would risk Anthony's life to stay out of prison yourself? Now, you listen to me. When I robbed that place in Miami, that man had no idea who I was or where to look for me. It took him 12 hours to find me. He murdered the woman I worked with and the man that I loved. I flew halfway across the world to a country where I thought I was safe, and he's found me. He followed you here from London, Harriet. He knows where you live and who you live with. No, not, not Oscar. I'm going you to... You can't risk what? it! Paula, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll get him back for you. I will get the money back. Right. How, Kathy? I don't know. Just give me one day. Please. If I haven't come up with anything by tomorrow night, then fair enough, you can call the police. But it'll be too late then, anyway. For all of us. And hide. Get upstairs, quick. Move it. Gavin, what are you doing here? What do you think? Well, you can't stay. I'm sorry, baby, but Daddy's going to have to take you straight back to London. Gavin, this is really unfair of you. I told you I needed to be by myself. I know you're ill and I know you're frightened, but you can't keep pushing us away like this. If you cared for me, you'd do what I asked. Stop fighting! <sighs> I don't understand why you won't do what the consultant is telling you. You know why, Gavin. 
They pumped my mother full of drugs, and what good did it do her? She ended up this bored. That was 20 years ago. I mean, it's totally different now. Oh, Hattie, we've been so busy these last few years, we haven't said things we should have said to each other. But I always thought that you knew. You're everything to me. You and Oscar. I thought it was the same for you. It is. No, it isn't. If it was, you wouldn't give up like this. You'd fight for every last moment you could spend with us. Mummy! Mummy, look at me! I can't bear to be with him and know what I am going to miss. I'm going to fade out of his life till he can't even remember my face. Don't. <laughs> Just play quietly, OK? thoughts about how this ends. Oh, what's the point? We can't plan nothing because every police force in the country is looking for us. We need guns. Anyway, what sort of place are we going to rob that's got that sort of cash? I will get the money, Paula. I'll get him back for you. It's me too. He's the strongest. <gasps> wow, thanks. Listen, mm. you'll be good for Daddy, sweetheart. Yeah. Come on. We really could take the train, yeah? No, no, you take my car. I'll be fine with the way around. Drive safely. Mm. Look after yourself. We'll be waiting for you. Mm. Bye, Hattie. You, no watching cartoons. Oh. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm so used to saying it to Oscar. I suppose your kids can watch whatever they like. She writes, what happens to money when it goes back to the bank? Well, Jessie, a lot of it comes here to the cash collection centre in East Sussex. Now, not hundreds, not thousands, but millions of notes worth billions of pounds. Now, these people here are sorting out the worn and torn notes because they'll go back to a big furnace to be burnt. Whereas the good notes will be loaded onto security vans and sent out to cash machines all across the south of England. Now, this guy here is Mr Jackson. He is the manager. Nice to meet you, Mr Jackson. Now, tell us in more detail what happens to people's money when it goes to the bank. We're in well, Sussex. Money comes in, You're not serious. You must be joking. There must be some way in. Who's staying here? to your staff. We've just set up business and we've been doing some of the offices in town. We can do your cakes or, you know, whatever you fancy. I'm sorry, love. Well, can we have a word with the manager? It won't take long. There's no point. I mean, you can't even get on this site without security clearance. And anyway, we've got a canteen. Sorry, girls. OK. Stationery reps. I could try that. No. Everywhere needs stationery. Could you stop here? Do you need the loo? Here, Kath, pull over. Don't be long. I think it was about time I was on my way. You walking out now? I oh, actually left from here. The only reason I said you could stay was because Paula wanted you to. And this is how you repay her. Like I said, this isn't my line of work. we no use to you. You're as much use as anyone else. We can't do this without you, Shanice. Just let her go, Kath. I won't grass you. I know. Take care. Can't 
do it without a faller. That place is a fortress. There's just no way. Oh, what? So that's it? Is that we just let that maniac kill Anthony? Why did you come back? You should have just let us be. None of this would have bloody happened. I'm sorry about Anthony. But at least there's a chance we'll get him back. Chris never had that chance. Kathy. I'm sorry. Why don't you use these for eyes? There you go. Mum uses Smarties. Oh, right. I haven't got any of those, but... Here you go. You can use this for hair. Hi, Mum. Hi, yeah. Look what we made. Um, where's Shanice? Go on. Don't ask. Mum, we made some lasagna and chips with tea. Yeah, right, you two, off you go and lay the table. There we go. Oh, and out of a packet. It's very organic. <laughs> like a organic. Who well, knows how it went then? It didn't. Sullivan's husband, Anthony, has met up with her and they've gone into hiding. Could they have left the country? We think that's highly unlikely. As soon as Sullivan escaped, all ports and airports were put under alert and under strict surveillance. I find it hard, sir, to believe you've got that. Look, I'd just like to say we will capture Paula Sullivan. That's all I've got to say at this moment. All day gone by, we've done nothing. Oh, Paula. Please. Please think about this. Let me call the police. <sighs> Gavin slow gin. Last bottle. There you go. Careful, it's about 60% proof. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm not kidding! <laughs> Why have you been so good to me? After all those things you said that evening I was arrested. Oh, that was shock talking. I never meant to hurt you. Or Oscar. I love him. I know. You were good for him, you know. You brought him out of himself. I just wish there was some way you could be in his life when I'm gone. Oh, I'm sorry. We should go. You're not well enough for this. No. You stay as long as you like. I'll tell you one thing about having a house full of armed robbers. <laughs> certainly takes your mind off having cancer. <laughs> Where is she? They put her in interview room too. And D.I. Finch? He's in there with us, sir. Soup is on his way. Once we've debriefed, I'll get someone to take you on. Sir. WDC Lake, sir. Safe and sound. Good to have you back, Constable. For a moment there, I thought we'd lost you. Get yourself cleaned up, then let's work out how we're going to get these women back without anybody getting killed.
Carlos Santini, naturalized American. He's been known to us for about 10 years, but so far we haven't been able to get anything to stick. According to Ensis, Santini is behind 15% of the cocaine coming into this country. The younger man is Adrian Ramirez Harris, born in Manila, raised in Singapore, New York, and London. Mother Filipino, father British. Has passports in four different nationalities that we know of. He's been working for Santini for the last six years. Harris is wanted on eight counts of murder, three involving kidnapping. The last one, the victim's ear and two of his fingers were sent to his family, who paid $2 million for the privilege. The rest of the body was never found. So what you're saying is, if we pick up the women now, Harris will kill Anthony Sullivan? He may already have done so. What do you suggest? That you let those women go ahead with the robbery they've been planning. It's OK, Dave. It's been cleared. Look, it's our one moment of opportunity to flush Harris out into the open. The moment your women hand over the money they owe him. Let me get this straight. You're saying we let those women rob a cash collection center? That's exactly what I'm saying. And how do you suggest we control that? We send Deborah Layton back in. A few days in a prison cell, getting information from Sullivan's one thing, but armed robbery. A hostage situation with a known killer. Come on, sir, Debbie's only been out of Hendon a year. I know that, but she's also the only person we can put with those women at such short notice. But how's she going to explain going back when she's only just walked out on them? Well, I'm sure you'll think up a convincing story. Now, just do it, Dave. We haven't got time for arguments. Went to my brother's in Manchester. Too many people recognised me and got scared. Plus, you kept thinking about that million quid and you fancied your cut. Look, Debbie, you don't have to play the hero. If you're not sure about this, you can say no. There's no one else, though, is there, sir? I'll be fine. I'll do it. Up, can't I? <clears throat> Afternoon, ladies. Afternoon. Hi, what can I get you girls? Uh, Bacardi and Coke, please. And? Um, vodka teeny, please. Uh, you don't know anywhere that does rooms for the night, do you? Like B&B, something like that? Yeah, yeah, I might do, yeah. Why are you girls down from London, are you? Yeah, we are, and like we were supposed to be meeting this mate of ours and she just hasn't turned up, so... Oh, that's all right, Shane, nice. Yeah. That'll be three pound thirty, please. Now let me get this. Oh, Can we get your ladies a seat? Yeah, lovely. So what is it that you boys do for a living then? Well, these guys work for me. Really? I've got my own roofing for them, yeah. Debbie, program this mobile so you just press this button and you'll come straight through. All right? Now, D.I. Finch will be your contact at all times. The robbery. If you have to get involved, you just be the driver, all right? Right, I'm giving you a Ruger High Power 9mm and a .38 Smith & Wesson. This here is a Spaz 12 gauge. Now you've got 50 rounds each for the Ruger and the .38 and here's a bag of 20 for the 12 gauge, OK? You all right? Car's downstairs. Good luck. I mean, I'm not kidding. We're looking straight down into the place, and it's wall-to-wall -wall money. I mean, there's cages going up and down all day long, just brimming with this stuff, isn't there? Yeah, if you drop a match, you end up talking a million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they embedding my nicks on? No, I mean, there's security cameras all over the place. You wouldn't have a chance, would you? 
<laughs> Not just 24 hours a day. The only way we're going to find out anything else is if we... I know. A million for a blowjob isn't such a bad trade. I mean, my ex-husband got ten years' worth of free. Janice! All right. What the hell do you think you're doing? Nice to see you too. Why won't you let me help you? Because I trust you as far as I could throw you. Yesterday you couldn't wait to get away from us quick enough and... And now you're back. I'm here because I need the money. Is she sound, Kath? If she grasps, the police will be here by now. Anyway, you said yourself, we can't do it just the two of us. Give me one good reason. I'll give you three. OK, so... We're on the roof, we've cut the hole. And how do we get down? Abseil. What? <laughs> right. And where do we get the gear from? I'll nick it. And you can abseil, can you? As it happens. <laughs> An abseiling tart. <laughs> Speciality of yours, is it? Outward adventure course for difficult youngsters. It's a great system. You nick a few things from Woolies and they send you on an adventure holiday in Wales. I'll show you. It's brilliant. Brilliant! OK, you step into it. Leg right. through each loop. Oh, comes up over the oh, top. which loop? The leg loops at the bottom. Oh, yes. yes. It comes over like a waistcoat, yeah? Way! I'll be wearing masks. Nice. Yeah, make them think that we're blokes. We always used to do that. Nobody puts their hands up for a bunch of women. Oh, God, I wish we had another vehicle. Every police force in the country is going to have them jeep plates after the breakout. Who'll drive it in? Oh, you'll have to. <laughs> I can't be on the roof watching Darren and sort the bloke in the gatehouse and drive the getaway vehicle in. This ain't going to work, Paula. There aren't enough of us. You stay where you are. Stay. Once you have the money, be behind the old airfield in East Grinstead at 12 noon. It's off Avery Road. Kathy, you are to come alone. Keep the phone with you. You will be phoned and told precisely where to go and what you are to do. Be there 
At 12, exactly. Now, the old airfield is a near perfect location for the handover. It's deserted, so we won't have any stray civilians to worry about. Dave. Right. Once Leighton contacted us, I got old leads from the local council. Now, as you can see, there are only two entrances to this place Avery Road here, Panton Street there. Now, from what I've seen, we can take care of the whole place with a single team of officers. There's plenty of cover. No problem, buddy. <laughs> There's two ways in, no way out, no civilians. You're practically guaranteed a clear shot at him. He's a sitting duck. Harris isn't that stupid. Well, what are you saying? What do you think he's going to do? <sighs> I wish I knew. Well, we'll just have to keep our wits about us. Now, Dave will head up surveillance at Wellgard. Marty and I will be in East Grinstead for the handover. Now, remember, the local police know absolutely nothing about this. Once the women are in and the alarms sound, they'll have about four minutes before the local boys arrive. Hope to God this all works out. It has to. No, darling, we've got to go. It's only for down, so. Okay. Oh, this is too dangerous, Cathy. What if you get spotted by the police? I can't stay here. Not with that maniac. Phil is the only one I can trust. Yeah, but I can look after them. Harry, you're not well enough. Look, I will be back. It's not too late to stop all this. For their sakes, Cathy. out the jigsaw there'll be more room. We can load the cash straight in off the cages. Oh, oh this is crazy. You're not well enough. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine once I get a couple of painkillers down me. You don't have to do this. You don't owe me. I'm not doing this for you. This is for me. I listen to you three planning and practicing day after day, you know, and I keep asking myself, could I do what they're doing? You three amaze me. I need to know if I can amaze myself. Does that make sense? This ain't a game, Harriet. You're gonna have to point a gun at someone in two hours' time and make them believe that you will pull the trigger. And if you can't be amazing, if you're too sick or scared, then we're going to end up in prison and Anthony will be dead. I'll be there. I won't let you down. <laughs> Come on. Is everything all right? Yeah. OK. Right, as soon as we get in there, the alarm's going to go off, which only leaves us a few minutes. So mustn't be greedy. Just take what we need and get the hell out of there. Harriet, you know what you're doing? Yeah. Right, we'll be inside by 11.15. We need you to be outside by 11.20 at the latest. Look, if you're not up to this, say so now, Harriet. No, 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 I'll be fine. She'll do it.
over to Charlie. We're in position. It's eight minutes past ten. Just over 50 minutes to go. Oh, look at that. Now that is tasty. Hi, boys. Thank God you've turned up and got flat tyre. Yeah, look, if you we were passing. Get the jack, would you, Larry? Yeah, what? So where'd you get your spell up? Here. Hey. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Move it! Right. Come on! Right. Right, stop! Now strip! Oh, over on. Come on, get your clothes off! Get them off! Just, just calm down. Hurry up! Oh, Christ. Oh, I get it. I know who you are now. Well, I guess that makes you brain of Britain down. Move it. No, stay here, Steve. Sit down. Down! down. All right, all right. Darren, everything all right? Yeah, yeah, fine, thanks, yeah. Oh, I better let you in, then. The cutting equipment's on the roof, yeah? Yeah. Look home with us. What? You're gonna help us cut the hole. Do it! Still working above the main sorting area. Yeah, over there. Good. Come on.
I don't usually see you down on a Friday. Oh. What can I do for you? Um. Forget what you came in for. Yeah. I do that all the time. this. Got to go down really fast. And a small rye loaf, please. Anything else? The keys to your van. It's a real gun, Doreen, I'm sorry. The glove's stuck! Jeez! Help! Hold on! Don't try and take the glove off, get the material free! God, get it out! Get out of the grip! Now to the local boys turn up. So where the hell's Harriet Howe? Come free! Polly and Blood did this! What the hell is that? Come free! She needs to get the one in the cage! That one! Now, come on! Don't move! Polly, come on, you've got to do this! Come on! Get it in there! Get it in! It's nice to be playing quick! Get it in! Get it in! That's enough! Come on, quick! Don't worry, Charlie. This is how it hasn't shown. We'll have to abort. I repeat, we'll have to abort. I knew I shouldn't have listened to you! Where is she? Well, what else are we supposed to do? Talk about cutting it fine. Open the gate! Open the gate! Come on!
she for cheers, Michael Schumacher. Delta Charlie, they're clear. They're on their way. I repeat, they're on their way. Steve, get to that position and stay as low as you can. Go. Right, Paul. Corner of the building, well down. We don't want any of them seeing us. Go. We've shut off Avery Road at the North End, Chief. Bust water main. It's gonna be tight. It's about a half hour drive, the best of times. God knows what he's got planned if they don't get there on time. Come on. Faster! Faster! It won't go any faster! Whatever happens, I need Harris alive. Yeah, we need everybody alive. It's seven minutes late. They're never gonna make it. Everybody in position? Get to that. Hello? What do you mean, Rygate? OK. Yeah. He's changed the hand over. Oh, shit. Well, look, didn't he give you any more directions, Cathy? I don't know, Rygate. No! Rygate Market, that's all he said. This up. 600 grand, leave the rest, it's ours. Debbie, where are you? She can't hear us. What's she saying? They've changed the handover, that's what she's trying to tell us. Write down everything you hear. Delta to Charlie. Delta to Charlie. Shit. Charlie to all units. Attention, all units. The handover has been changed to the market in Rygate. <laughs> I knew it was too easy. You reckon that girl of yours can hold things till we get there? I bloody well hope so. How long to Rygate from here? Half an hour. Shit. Shit. On a row. He's my husband. Okay, let's do it then. Ladies, welcome. Don't make a sound. Just hand over the money. I presume that's what's in the sack. Let him go first. You pass me the money, and then I'll let him go. Shanice! Where did you get Shanice? 